We have people who have uh, uh, escaped the crisis and they are in Nigeria as refugees. We have inter uh, internally displaced uh, persons. Uh, which are the factors that are really contributing to the reluctant uh, school turn of last year? And now there's a ban on uh, school uh, resumption in the southwest and the northwest. Eric Tato, this is a very critical uh, moment, and this question is a very strong one. People who follow you, people who share your opinion, and even those who are against you, now it is coming like a very pertinent moment where you need to decide. The ban on school, what kind of impact? that has to do with the struggle. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I'm very glad once more to be here. Uh, I think that uh, the issue about the ban on school is something that is not supposed to be debatable. Uh, as you are all aware, school, uh, or should I say the accusation of education is supposed to be uh, a very peaceful affair. Uh, education is something that is not supposed to have interference, especially when it comes to violence and war and guns. So it is going to be technically, uh, in fact, it is natural stupidity for any human being on earth to call for school resumption in an area where there's an armed conflict without doing the first thing. We say first thing first. And what is the first thing? The right to have a life and to be alive is supreme over any other thing. You see, I remember somebody told me something about Nelson Mandela and great philosophers that Mandela was asked that if they give you money and life, what will you take? And Mandela replied to the person that he's going to take money. Do you know why? No. Because he already has life that he's living. Sure. Because money is what, why you live. That's so once your life, now you agree with me that if they ask Southern Cameroonians, that what do you want? There are two things. Do you want to go to school first or you want the military to be withdrawn? It's like life and money because the military means no life. So in this case, life has been taken from the Southern Cameroonians. And it is wickedness. It is barbaric. It is, a, it is philosophical injustice for anybody, whether you are whatever category of person, to advocate for school resumption. First, in the Northwest and Southwest, which we today call Amazonia, without advocating for a ceasefire and a withdrawal of soldiers that have been sent there by Paul Bia. Just yesterday, if you read what Mark Barata wrote about Diongo mm -hmm. in Banga Bakundu, the soldiers ambushed. And the most perplexing thing is that Cameroon government ordered soldiers to kill women, to slaughter children. How can a soldier arrive a village at four because you suspect that separatist fighters are there and then you kill everybody in that locality you burn them alive including a woman so you are calling for schools to resume and you are killing women selling food to get school fees for their children if really that is what is going on on the ground now uh it is really uh, a is the responsibility of the media not to coin the perspective of a debate to a particular agenda when it comes to this thing because this thing is so complicated in a way that you cannot insist that we don't talk i'm not i'm not coming here what i love about no, we're you we're going to talk about everything we're going to talk about just, everything just one but we don't, we're, not, we're going to talk about everything perfect but the problem is that uh my co-host uh modest who is the principal host of this uh show tonight mm -hmm. uh introduced the subject i was watching about this school was supposed to resume now talking about cessation separation we, we can talk the about the you ask you ask for the solution right yeah so i'm going to give you solution. for school to resume for school to resume yeah number one yes major solution is for Pobia to call for a ceasefire that stop military stop number two after ceasefire you immediately withdraw all the soldiers from Southern Cameroon's Amazonia. Number three, 
you release all political prisoners that have been held in detention from our leaders, what we call the Naya Ken, all of them. You release all of them. Manchun BBC, Siku, everybody. You bring all of them out. You remember that schools cannot resume. It will never resume when we have children, students. How do you want schools to resume when a teacher or teachers are in jail? Patterson started this thing with school. He's still in jail and you want school to resume? You expect that restoration forces will allow a teacher to go and teach when other, other teachers are in jail? Then, when that is done, they call for, and because after this, schools will not still resume. So I want to give you the solutions. If you do these things, schools will not still resume. You call for a dialogue supervised by an external organ. All these things that Kennedy and the rest are saying that a national dialogue, this is not a national issue. A, an issue cannot be national when there are refugees. Refugees have crossed boundaries. They are in Nigeria, they are in Ghana, they are in Ethiopia, they are in Cyprus. They are here. Some of us here are refugees. They are refugees in America. Many of them are here, refugees from southern Cameroons who, 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 who were running away from the war. Some died in the creeks in Mexico. Eric Tato, you make a very strong point because uh, I'm not even if, going. If, if school were to resume, what about the situation of the people who are in the bushes? You because you know the in the no, no, yeah. I am not. I'm when, when, when you, when you, when you talk, around to you. No, I'm not. Yes. Yes. I'm not. Yes. I, you probably just, you probably just cut me. I'm going know. to learn. Yes. I, I'm going to learn. You see the problem with. Okay, uh, you have one minute to learn. I'm going to switch to Kennedy before you have the opportunity They don't understand that they have the right to speak, but when you have money. You have more command. I'm not saying that federalists are poor. I want to relate it to the guns. The Ambazonian fighters have the guns. We have the command. So you cannot be talking. When I say that the, 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 the prime minister made a mistake to go and meet Fundi, who is Fundi in this context? Fundi cannot stop this war. Because Fundi, has, Fundi cannot say anything in Ambazonia. All they can to me is a waste of time. Can because you, the government, no, wait, no, wait, no, wait, 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 can you stop the war? Can you, can no, you, no, can no, you, you just say, you, you one can, I will, I will answer your question. Okay, okay, no, no, can you stop so, the war? Yes. Pastor, you okay. have the opportunity okay. to talk. Okay. okay, you have okay. the opportunity okay. to talk. Okay. Okay. Stop the okay. You are giving the mic, you are giving the opportunity to talk. No, you cannot stop the war. Okay, we can stop the war. Me, I'm a separate. Pastor, Pastor, okay, one minute, one minute, one minute. Okay, I have my one minute. Yeah, if you didn't intervene, I have my one minute. I have my one minute. Me, I'm stopping the war is not as an example. Let me, okay, now. When all these things have happened, there is dialogue. Until there is dialogue with a neutral party, then shall we, through our leaders, after a decision, remember that this war started because of schools and teachers, lawyers and teachers. Lawyers and teachers. It came up when it migrated, it metamorphosed from a simple demand in a change in the educational system to federalism. And it has left. So now it is not a level for federalists to be discussing. Normally, I'm not supposed to be on a debate table for that. Thank you. I'll, I'll, so, I'll be the only you. final solution will be the international community to make schools to resume, to call for the independence of Southern Cameroon. Without that, there is going to be nothing in that country. That is a point we'll come to deliberate with that. Uh, Another thing you raise uh, a very, I'll put it in quote, dubious claim is that you said that we have never declared war. Are we supposed to declare war? That is, that's the most crazy assertion I've heard in recent time. No, Paul Bia declared war. War! And you said Sisi Kwayoktabe, who is the self-proclaimed uh, leader of the Ambazonian Revolution, who declared independence, the restoration of independence. Was he supposed to declare war? No. There is no single Ambazonian. Thank God that you have, you have used your mouth as a federalist to confirm to the world what we have been saying as Ambazonians. And I say it all the time. One, no, one, one minute. Declare war. Good. Oh, so, I say it and I one minute. Yeah. So, but you were you were using that. that. In Thailand, you were using that and trying to say that we're foolish. That probably had trick us into a war. No, probably I didn't trick us into a war because, as it is, listen very attentively. Yes. Ambazonians have never declared war. We only we only implemented some mm. some some coordinates in the Second Amendment of the United States, the right to arms to defend ourselves. The right to self-defense is an international human right. What do you want the poor to do? Pobia came at the tarmac of the Insemale International Airport, declared war on the people of the two English speaking regions. Of no, you want to prove no, no, you want to prove that, can you, I, that you declared can you, war or can you didn't declare can war. Can you just hold on? Let me just land. Because you said that Pobia tricked us. He didn't trick us, he tricked himself. Because you came and you declared war on the people. We are not fighting you as we are fighting a war. We are only on the sideline trying to defend ourselves. You come to burn our houses. You think if you burn my house, I will what will I do? The next time you come to buy another house, if I have a way, I have to defend myself. 
Because if everybody in Southern Cameroon had guns, probably I will not be doing this nonsense. So you cannot say that probably I trick us, we are stupid. No, we are not stupid. That is why it's good that you have mentioned that Ayok Tabe Julius, who is president in Konengi, one of the most feared prisoners in Africa as at now, did not, he was not stupid. He only said on one of the TV stations that every option is on the table because when they, when the journalists asked him that, are you ready for war or what? He said all the options are on the table. He never declared war. No, that's, that's what I'm say. saying that. Yeah. So you don't so say. One me. minute. I'm, I cannot contradict you. I'm just trying to let you okay. know that probably I did not trick us, that we are not foolish because yes. you, you use yes. the word foolishness and they say you should, you should retract that word. So I am trying to debunk your understanding of the definition of probably I being smart. Probably I was not smart. Probably as the most stupid president in the world to come and declare war in front of the airport on a peaceful people. And today we are defending ourselves. Let me tell you something, my brother. You know, Ambazonians are the, <laughs> they, they are the kindest people on earth, the kindest rebels. Because when there is an armed conflict, you are not, you are not, you don't, listen, there are two parties that are two major parties involved in this issue about school resumption. What voice do you have? It is a government. And you as a federalist, the minister or governor can go to somewhere in Ambazonia and make those fetish things about school resumption. Right. Bala cannot go. If Bala is a man or you are a man or Kabina Tumi is a man, let them go to commercial and go and throw school resumption. Just go as we can go. We'll take them. They'll be taken out. Just to even confirm it, of recent, the governor of Northwest tried to uh, go to... Uh, he was attacked. And he was attacked. He, yes. He returned to Bamenda with a cop. Yes. Uh, like a military was shot was and shot had and to killed. carry and bury Bamenda and he could not even so go to cook. when we are talking, I am, I am an unrepentant separatist operating in this country. And I want to remind you that in Maryland, in the state of Maryland, a threat is not a crime. That's what I don't know. So you see all the things I say on Facebook, I say it because I'm defending myself. The only thing that now I've just you were here, I showed you all my Facebook accounts. You saw it, yes. you saw it, mm -hmm. I demonstrated to you that I've deleted everything, disabled everything. We just finished a request for the latest one. You saw how the picture went yes. just now. Facebook is reviewing. If Facebook don't give my account, I'll create a new one. The only thing the Cameroon government can do to me is to have Facebook influence Facebook or report my accounts and they'll be deleted or they'll be disabled. But to say that you know how many times Homeland Security has been to my house? I've gone to the FBI here, here at Baltimore and here at the... I mean, you're talking to someone of those things that you one minute, know. One minute, you have the right to one minute, do one minute, one minute. Can you give me a chance? Pastor, Pastor, can you give me a chance? Pastor, Pastor, you will get time. You see, the only enjoyment that you have is because you are in America. I think you should not be addressing like two No, that's why I have to answer him. Yeah, I am I saying that. Yeah. We are to answer him. Let me say this. Yes, yeah, but let me say this. Let me say this. I'm talking like I am talking generally. I'm talking generally. I'm talking generally. I'm talking generally. I'm talking generally to the federalists. Because one of the problems that we have, one of the problems that we have, it is because federalists are trying to assume a very stupendous position. The cardinal truths. Agbobalas, Ellie Smith, and all of you who are federalists, the time, listen, the problem, you can make this argument because you have either forgotten the way they make pop off. You know the way they make pop off? <laughs> you don't ask a question. You see, pop -off. when they do pop off, no, yeah, I my, mother, pop -off. my mother, my mother, my mother was one of the best <laughs> pop off people in, in my village. I saw pop off. See, Pastor does not know. Eh? I know how to make pop off. I saw pop off. Perfect. So I saw pop off. Let me about? say something. Eh? I saw pop off in. in, in <laughs> let me say something. Perfect. You now you see, Pastor, when you you see you are talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, federalists. Federalists don't, there is no more chance for federation in this discussion. Cameroon government is not going listen. If you look at all the official documents from the Senate, the Congress, all those things, he's saying that they should discuss with separatists. Um separatists. Federalists are not in jail. There is no federalist in jail anymore. Okay, the people, uh, let me let me question. Let me let me perhaps me. push you to answer uh, what I was looking uh, up to. Let me say this before I come to that. I want to finish with Pastor. 
Very beautiful. You are taking it like a pastor and Eric K. No, 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 Flour. Get flour, yeast, sugar. Then you put maybe warm water, you put it in the bowl. Mm -hmm. You put some granite oil. For those who don't have granite oil, they bleach red oil to put it to make, to, you understand? Yes. And then you bring the sugar, you have to stir the sugar. You put, when you put sugar, you put other ingredients. Those who, you know what I'm talking about. Then you come and put the flour and then you look at the yeast, you measure the yeast. So once you put the yeast, the pop up will not, you keep the pop up, you cover it. The dough, yes. The dough, you cover it, and then it will begin to rise. So, if you don't want the dough to rise, you don't put yeast. So now, when it rises, it's already another level. After that, it's going to the fire. From the fire, it must be put up. I want to let you know that the problem in Cameroon is going through the pop off life cycle. So the stage stages have passed. So now it's in the fire. Oh, it's in the fire. <laughs> <laughs> it's in the fire. So there's not a so so the federalists were when they were trying to put his you would have stopped it there. So after they have put his it has risen. You know this topic, you would have done the pop off. You could still dump it and you not go to the fire. But the government allowed it and then it moved to the fire. Now they are gone. You know what is a gun? How can you explain that uh, there are many anglophones uh, who are against your own way to think about this crisis especially those who are in the government such as young filimo and after him uh, john Gute, and one of the best inside bracket uh atanganji <laughs> all these types those, of those, the, those, all these type of the those are not, those are not anglophones my brother really those are those are those are slaves for the Cameroonian government let me tell you something. On the 22nd of September, we'll be celebrating the call for demonstration by Seko Ayok Tabejilos. You remember when Ayok called? Seko called that go out. You saw the streets were full. Yes. On the 1st of October, he called. We're going to do a nitrogen balloon where we'll put our flags all over Cameroon. But you know, first, you, know, you, now, you know, you know, October 1st is not a problem from today. It's an old problem. Uh, SCNC. Even in the 18, uh, 19 I agree. Yeah. But the momentum picked up when Sisiko did the declaration of the restoration of independence. Yes. So that's why it has become more intense. Now, answering your question about when you say it is, it is, it is, you are mis, it's a misconception, and you can give a wrong signal out there to the world that many Anglophones are against us. No. At I, I said especially those who are yeah, yeah. in the government. Now you would agree with because me. Because they are like the elite. No, they, they are not elite. Elite, elite, and elite is based on the blessing of the population. Of the population. That if is you right. are my elite, I have to recognize you. That is why I told people today on my live show that there are two ways to kick a man out by withdrawing your endorsement. And then that is the first and the most dangerous way. Take for example, Ari Kelly has been kicked out. You saw Kelly did not go to court because he was in jail and they say it was a transportation problem he was kicked out because companies withdrew their endorsements so when you withdraw your endorsement from somebody you can invite to this tv and say oh, no, come because yeah. i don't want to endorse this tv mm -hmm. so like paul bia we have all withdrawn our endorsements from the so-called anglophone elite we have declared them not wanted we don't want to see them in, in Amazonia. so when like me i have the revolution the Amazonian revolution i have my take on particular principles what i support we have corruption inside our own midst. We're fighting to kick it out. They say we are kicking Paul Bia. So if you are a leader who is corrupted, and as an activist, I take out my endorsement, you are finished. Uh, that brings me to what the IG. Perfect question. I can answer that very easily. Yes. My relationship with the IG is very great. And I want to just seize the opportunity. I'm shocked that this question comes up. I want to seize the opportunity to say that the IG mm -hmm. is a body. Yes. It's not an individual. That's why many Ambazonians are mistaken. Many Ambazonians think that the IG is a person. No. Cameroon is not Pobia. America is not Trump. But there's a Trump administration. And if it is bad, 
You saw what happened. The protests at the uh, heart of the Senate building during Kavanaugh's uh, uh, confirmation. Yes, yes. People went there. They didn't want Kavanaugh. That was already a, a serious signal. Now, the IG is a body. And I want to see the opposition to tell Ambassadors that there is no infighting in our revolution. There is only the technical denier to accept a fault from people who have done things that are not right. You will agree with me yes. that we are fighting against injustice. When I started here, that's what I said. Against injustice, against corruption. And so, as a principal people who are fighting against those kind of aspects, we cannot have anybody in our own revolution being corrupted and allowed the person. You agree with me still that the United Nations will look at the various debates on the Ambazonian platforms and say, truly, if these people at this moment can be arguing because somebody had money, it means that they are going to make a wonderful country. Okay, uh, uh, Sisiko, are you... The uh issue is that many of our people either do not understand or they do not read English very well. If yes. you read that document, anybody, mm -hmm. Ayok Tabe said that he is reconstituting his government as it was before he was arrested. And in that case, it means that everybody, the Christian news, the rest, they remain in the same place. The only person that was affected in that declaration was Samuel Sako, who, is the, who, who was the acting president, I can say so. So, the, he was supposed to return back to the position of under secretary for uh, uh, foreign affairs because the president of the restoration council which is a cometa evis had gone to seseko through a meeting on zoom and told seko that listen we have to take uh, 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 samuel sako out because of this scandal of my trip to goya because we raised 480 million and that money disappeared nothing happened on the ground so it was okay. normal that the second part of this uh, debate will come back to that uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen dear well <laughs> you've I've asked a lot of things, my trip to Boya, uh, Mark Barretta's confession, and the infighting. Yes. Now, uh, you can see from this debate that we are in this small studio, beautifully made, but we still fought. So the issue about infighting is inherent in human beings. Mm -hmm. Even Trump, Trump was just from fighting with uh, the two uh, 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 democracies. Congress women mm -hmm. who went and they blocked, they were blocked en uh, entry. You remember? Yeah. It just on fighting. Mm -hmm. Trump fights with everybody too. So the issue about the situation of the infighting in the Amazonian Revolution is inbuilt in all revolutions, including the American War of Independence. People fought. They have differences in ideologies. Mm -hmm. So I don't want uh, people to think that we're not going to fight. But in all, we have a common goal, which is taking us to Boya. And I want to let the international community know that lately there's been no infighting. The only problem that we have had, like you have raised, is the issue of my trip to Boya. Yes. Before I come to my trip to Boya, let me just take a very quick point so that I don't omit to clear the issue of Mark Barretta. Yes. You see, like you asked, and that is a very appropriate uh, understanding of what you think that Mark must have said or didn't say. Mm -hmm. Because you asked that, was it edited? I can say yes, it was edited. How do you edit somebody's words? When something is edited, it means it's not the original thing. For example, if I want to spell, if I if I type here, if I want to spell war, that is W A R, and I put W A W R. The original thing that was imputed is W A W R, and also. Mm -hmm. So if I edit, I'll have war, which means the original thing that is war, but the, the now the new thing is what war. war. But the original thing that I wrote is what is war, which is wrong. Yes. Now, Mark Barretta did not say that. We fool people. He talked about some issues in the internal politics, which was the government. Because Dr. Sako promised that there was going to be a match with a foreign country. The match did not hold. So he said they fooled us on that. He said my trip to Boya, they said they were going to take us to Boya. They fooled us on that. But when I listened to CRT and other mainstream media, they simply said that Mark is confessing that the quest with the desire for independence was a lie. But that's not what Mark said. Even Honorable Weber said the same things that Mark said, but because Mark is very more vocal, and all of them are household names, but Mark is frequent on social media. Yes. And so they picked it as an advantage to turn it around. But the bad thing for CRA TV is that Mark only helped to destroy CRA TV. Because before, I used to have 2% respect for CRA TV from 100.
when they came and changed max word they went down to minus see ali tv is owing me is on minus 90 in terms of credibility because that thing that they did they changed max stuff how can you take something from this man they call my country people a dubious guy in, in london who is another officer he takes max word he changes it and people are commenting in pigeon and see ali tv a whole repeatable why did you not publish that this is what max said a repeatable is supposed to be repeatable takes it and then changes it on press R and starts saying other things. You bring a journalist there, you are lying on broad daylight that this man said this. Okay, excuse me. Uh, good morning. What did I say just now? Good morning. Cool. Are you going to say I said good afternoon? No. So if you say good afternoon, what does that mean? It means you have edited my word, not so? Sure. I'm going to Baltimore. What did I say? You are going to Baltimore. Did I say I'm going to Virginia? <laughs> no. So how can Mark say something and you say something else? So I think basically it's simple. Mark did not say that we are not more believing in independence. No, he didn't say that. Okay, what about uh, the take on uh, my trip to Boya? Well, of if course, you... I'll be turning to, I'll be turning to Parfum there now. You see, um, I am a proponent of a principled society. The very first reason why I joined the Ambazonian movement is my belief for justice and zero tolerance in corruption. I graduated from the University of Boya I left JHS Widikum, this is not to give my credentials, and went to Limbe, where I graduated in flying colors. I even earned a Guinness Award, and I earned the Emmanuel Ote Penitentiary Administration Award in Widikum at the time. I was best art student in JHS Widikum from five, best art student in JHS Limbe, I'm saying it because it's public face. Sure. And I came to the University of Boya, I graduated number 19th out of 121. So my GPA was very good, and that was in 2008. I didn't have a job after my graduation. So it means there was no equality, because I graduated better than people who today have jobs. They are directors in place. What did I do? I go back to form my own business, National Telegraph. It means the Cameroon society that I supported, I used to have more flats on my neck. When Cameroon is playing, I'm happy. They cheated me of my due right to have a good job because of my intelligence, by merit. So there was corruption, nepotism. People were corrupt and nepotistic. And the reason why I joined the Ambazonian movement is because I know, I have the conviction that we will build a country that is even better than America. But my trip to Boya turned out to be another fiasco where people have become pirates. How can you tell me that because you assume that pastor did something wrong in his church, you think that if another pastor is doing something wrong, you not condemn it, but you quote pastor as having done something wrong. And I ask the question that if somebody slept with your cousin's wife, my brother, would you allow another person to come and sleep with your wife because other, some other person slept with your cousin's wife? Two wrongs cannot make it. Never! Mm -hmm. So my trip to Boya was embezzled we according to the audit we raised 480 million which is our right because we have a registered organization here in the u.s we made all the contributions for those who follow they know the effort that some of us make or made i don't want to be personal and that money was under the watch of dr sako who took a political manifesto and told the ambazonian people that he was going to deliver us boya if we get him two million Good enough and true enough, we didn't give him two million. Although that money was more than eight hundred thousand, but the declaration, because I, as a journalist, as a scient, as a scientist, because journalism is social science. Social science. Yes, I based my stuff on facts, empirical evidence. The audit committee came and declared that it was eight hundred eleven thousand dollars. If you convert it, it is four hundred eighty million CFA. Okay, you took that money, and then it's like you said that you want to tie a route from Mutengene to Pombe for one million and then you take that money we don't see even a sun on the road it means you have not done nothing so the money my trip to Boya was seriously in bed it was divided amongst Dr. Sako John Ekewan Aringwa Tabenyang Brado that some people say I don't call Tabenyang then because my countryman no but if you follow you see that that is one of the people that I hit the most because he did not go for the audit we cannot have a society that we are trying to build where one zero tolerance on corruption and then people eat money. We want to ask somebody that where is my trip to buy? The person said he's saying that Siseko also collected Skapak. And there is no proof to show that Siseko collected the amount of money that they are talking about. I'm not supporting Siseko. If you bring a proof, 
you bring an audit that shows that it was the money that enters Kapak and Seco do not account for, I will, I'm going to deal with him too squarely. Perfect. But there's no proof. Let me just learn. Yes. And then, you now come and tell me that because if, even assuming that Seseko did something like that, is it a right thing for any activist, my brother, oh, a second to round. come and agree that this thing that they raise money for people to defend themselves, for refugees to have food, mattresses? And what have you guys done about that? What I have done, I have proposed a simple judicial solution, social justice. Number one, we know that we cannot recover that money. If I'm Brazilian people are listening to me at this time, you can never, ever take your money to the same bank that had a bad manager. If money was misappropriated in the bank, you will never get your money back there. I propose that for Sako to be honorable, let him leave the stage. If we cannot have another, because Seseko is in jail, he is a president, but he can never act from jail. He has what they call Yerima, Yerima and the rest. I'm not bothered about that. You have one IG led by Seseko, and Sako is the acting president who has lost confidence and the mandate of the people. If Sako goes, there is no internal fighting in Nambazon. I want to make this point clear. Okay. If Sako goes with his gang, just four people, Sako, John Ejewan, Aringwa, and the rest who stole money, Tabena, if they go away, then we know that the Sisiko, in, the people in jail, and the other leadership that is left in the IG, they can now work together and they bring everybody together. After all, I have a choice almost now working with Sisiko. So when people say there is division, there is no division. We have only a group of armed robbers, social media armed robbers in Ambazonia, who are trying to deflect a fact which they will never deflect. Thank you. For